Welcome folks, I am Technivorous. Today we're going to be taking a look at some 3D printed fidget toys. So all of these toys are print in place parts. They print in one go and have varying times and motions. So we'll take a look at all of them coming up right now. Technivorous channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivorous. Alright, so first things first, we're going to take a look at the one that I could not get to work because this annoyed me to no end, but I printed several of them with several different kinds of support and it was just not happening. So it kind of works, but you can see because of the way that it prints that these two parts of these two wheels are kind of flattened out and that is not ideal at all. So um, that causes it when it gets to that part of the wheel to kind of jam up and causes other teeth to break off off of the inside of these wheels so this one is really really cool in theory i just couldn't get it to print couldn't get it to work properly once i did removing the support from some of those inner pieces without breaking the wheels or the gears is pretty tricky so um that one i wouldn't recommend it's not my favorite if you can get it and get it to print that would be pretty sweet um and i think it's definitely worth a shot but i'm not messing around with it anymore we're going to look at a couple of spinners. These ones actually worked really well. You can see the nice geared motion here. Let's see if I can get a little, little bit better there. Um, everything turns really fluidly. And this one came out pretty nice. I printed a bunch of these at a time on a raft and the bottom surface did not come out very fine at all. You can see a lot of, a lot of chunkiness there, but, uh, that kind of carried over to another one that I printed. This was a batch model as well. But the spinner itself works really well. And if I took the time to sort out that bottom layer, it would be a very, very nice one as well. So these I will link a file to down below, as well as this guy right here. Now this one's interesting because it's just a it's two, two reverse screws. So the gears travel at the same time up and down. Uh, and there's a hole there to make a keychain. Kind of cool, but nothing too special and a little bit difficult to fidget with. It does work, however, and it prints in place just like this with the, with the wheels at the bottom there. This is a spinner I made myself using Fusion 360, and it is basically just a simple fidget spinner. I uh, saved the file for this. I think I'll link to that down below as well so you can kind of alter these and make your own custom fidget spinner. But it works pretty well for being something that prints in place. My one word of advice is if you do print one of these, um, don't try prying at there with a knife if it looks a little bit sealed. Just basically get it and push it in and out and it should pop and then you'll be able to spin it pretty freely. Sometimes it spins really well, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on where you grip the wheel, I think. This one was actually recommended by one of our, um, oh geez, I can't think of the word. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, Lando the Man from our Discord, that's what I was trying to say, uh, recommended trying this cube out. I've since printed several of them. This one is really, really fun to play around with. It's called an Infinity Cube. This is a variation on it that uh, he recommended specifically. I can put a link up to this one down below as well. I definitely recommend it, although it is very, very addictive. So that's going to be it for this short and sweet video on fidget spinners. If you have any fidget spinners that you think I should try or that printed really well, go ahead and let me know. Not just spinners, fidget toys as well. Like I said, this cube, I guess technically this is not a spinner. I don't know if you'd call this a spinner or not. The pieces do spin. Um, but I was actually really impressed with these, these geared ones that were printed in place because, again, I had to do a little wiggling to get them loose. Um, but once the parts were loose, they turn really, really well. The gears tend to stay in place, and it's really, really satisfying. And they spin really, really easy. So thanks for stopping by, guys. Like I said, leave me a comment down below if you think there's a fidget toy that I should try. And we'll see you in the next one. Well, that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability 
to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.